Hi everybody, I'm back. And today we're gonna be making a really cool treat I found on Pinterest. And I'm like, I gotta show everybody, it's super cool. So these are ice cream pops, is what we call them. We don't really know the name of them, but we call them ice cream pops because what we're doing is we're taking off this and the ice cream inside we're gonna use and we're gonna cut them into three and then we're gonna take our little sticks and make them into pops. And so the fun thing about this is that you can have all kinds of different things on your ice cream pops. See, we have all these to put on here. So we have chocolate chips, we have mini chocolate chips, we have Butterfingers, we have marshmallows, we have candy melts, peanut butter flavor. Peanut butter, I love peanut butter. It's like the best ever. Okay, and then the two ice creams we have today are s'mores and the tonight dough. It's got like, cookie dough, chocolate, chocolate ch chunks, and some other stuff. And so that's what you'll need. You'll need some toppings. You don't have to have the exact same toppings, but some toppings. Um, and then you'll have to have some sticks. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to The Savvy Life and hit that little bell with the subscribe button. So then you're in the notification squad and you get notified for every cool treat or toy or whatever video we do. So, here's what we do. We take off the caps, because I mean, mmm, it smells so good. It smells so good. Like it, I'm gonna like it. Tastes good, tastes good. Which one is this, s'mores? That's, not, that's awesome. Okay, then we're gonna cut it right down the line. Then you gotta peel it off somehow. And you want it to stay as round as you possibly can see. Keep it. Okay, I have no idea how messy this is gonna be. Oh my god! Ice cream! Can I like put that back? It's okay. I got this. Maybe. Somehow. This will come off. I'm gonna take this piece off so I can just work with the other piece. So instead of completely taking off the wrapper, I'm just gonna cut it like this. Parents' permission, guys. Sharp knife. Don't worry. There's someone behind the camera helping me. Ah. Hey, just let it just fall. Place it right there. Right there. Ha! I did it. Big knife. Yes, I did it. Okay, let's keep going. I got this. Yo. This ice cream is melting. Can't get let it melt. Gotta keep going. Now almost perfect. And then I don't have to cut my last one because it's already been cut for me. Four. Okay. Guys, you know ice cream melts really fast. So we gotta keep going. Let's try and put these popsicle sticks in. So what you need to do is get it almost in the middle, like upright in the middle, and stick it in there. Oh, this is gonna be really hard. It's frozen, but it's still not frozen at the same time. Okay, it's okay. Oh, 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 we have to hurry up in the freezer. So guys, we're gonna do the second container. We have to go really fast with this one because it starts to melt. So, so far, it's been a fail. Because it just melted, like it was just a puddle. But I think we did three to make it more thick so it doesn't melt as fastly. Like, like, the more thinner it is, the more air gets into it. Like, stuff like that. Okay, you know what, it's science. Look it up, I don't really care. Okay, you know what, we're gonna do the second one. We're gonna let them freeze overnight to make sure they're frozen, not everywhere. And so we went back out to the freezer for the second one. The second one looked really good, like they weren't melted. And guess what we saw for the first one? This. With the ice cream. The ice cream just. This is what. Puddle. Just a puddle of ice cream. It just melted all over our freezer. Well, we're gonna see you tomorrow morning. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. So guys, it's the next day, and we let them freeze overnight. 
They still don't look too good. No. Dang it, printers, you make it look so good and easy. How? Well, we're gonna do this to the end. See how they look at the end. Then maybe they'll look terrible, and you're like, ugh, I'm not gonna eat that. But it's still, ice cream. Ice cream. Who doesn't like ice cream? Okay, so, they melt really quickly, so I have to go really, 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 really fast. Okay, so I'm gonna talk really fast. So, there are two types of ice creams we're gonna do today. We're gonna do the peanut butter, Butterfinger ones, which you put peanut butter on it and then Butterfinger on the top. And then there's also the s'mores one, which we're gonna put um, chocolate on it and with some graham crackers, chocolate, and marshmallows, okay? We're gonna first, first we're gonna do the peanut butter, Butterfinger one. Okay, we're gonna start with the three because we want the other ones to freeze a little more because those ones are blobs. Okay. These sticks are totally holding it up. Oh yeah, this is working out very well over here. Okay, this looks delicious. Couldn't look better, guys. Woo! It's some butterfingers. Beautiful! It looks so good. Couldn't look better, like I said with the other one. Okay, hurry up, next one. See, we can do the next one. I got this one, I got this one. This one should be, this is not gonna work out too well. We're just gonna do this. And we're gonna take this big glob of peanut butter. Don't worry, it's peanut butter, so it should taste really good. Oh, that looks way better. Way better than the other ones. This one actually looks really good this time. Oh my gosh, I just totally missed it. So guys, we had a hurry. So, they're, they're melting really fastly, and so the, the sticks are coming out. Um, the first one worked out really well. Oh my gosh, the caramel's already, I mean, the, the peanut butter's already frozen on it. It's hard. Oh, that one's not too hard, actually. Whoops. Well, this one didn't work out too well. These two worked out really well, actually. I didn't think it'd be that good, but bye, guys. We'll be right back. I'll talk to you later. All right, guys. So, these do not look too well, the, the other batch. Look at this is where it dripped off into my freezer. And now the freezer is chocolate. Chocolate. So, can't really take them off yet, because... I mean, I can, but like they'd be globs. So we're not gonna take them off. We need this. These are the s'mores ones. So I'm gonna do it on there. So then I get not everywhere. Probably just have to eat them off the tray. I mean, it's not coming off. I don't wanna put too many graham crackers because I still have to put chocolate. And don't forget the marshmallows. Gotta put the marshmallows too. Too many. There we go. Can I just like scoosh that on there? I'm gonna take my, some of my hand and just like sprinkle them on there. Seems easier. Boop, boop. Oh wow, well, okay. Perfect! Couldn't look better. We're probably gonna leave these for another day or two. Just to like let them freeze easier. Guys, it might be the brand of ice cream we, we used. So if you guys are gonna try to make these, I would suggest another brand maybe. Because these do not freeze. As our freezer is broken. So guys, if I peel the tray anymore, I'll... this is what it did to my freezer. Beautiful, right? I know. It already melted from the side. So guys, if you are gonna try this, I suggest another brand, like I said, because then you get to see it doesn't melt. Because ours definitely melted. Let me go put already put these in the freezer. They already look bad anyway, so. So guys, the third day, so this took three days. And in the beginning of the video, we showed you what they were supposed to look like. And here it is again, and here is ours. Perfectly non-rounded circles, and then perfect round circles. See that difference there? So we learned that our outside freezer is not cold enough for these ice creams to freeze. And so they just melt. But we tried our inside freezer, which works, and they are now hard frozen. So now they're frozen. So yeah, that's how they turned out. So here's what the peanut butter and butter fingers look like. So these ones are they're, they're okay, they're okay, but because you can see it melted a little bit down the stick, but now it's frozen, so it won't melt anymore. And so you got the peanut butter on top, just just glob of peanut butter right over on this side. No, no, we're here. We don't need any of them. And then these ones are just embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. So here's what happened with these. These melted. They put a chocolate on top, and then they melted some more. 
And then the sticks were frozen in it, but they're going every which way. So I'm gonna take them off and see what one of them will look like. This one. <laughs> Before, after. Oh yeah. This one's a beauty right here. I think the best one out of all of these is the one right here. Wait, 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 wait. Cause look at this. There's peanut butter on that side. And peanut butter on that side. And it's somewhat round. They're very, very, very ugly, I understand. And yes, this was a complete fail. But they still are probably gonna taste good. So we're gonna try them. I got chocolate peanut butter. <laughs> It tastes really good, actually. My last tip for you guys, if you guys are gonna make these, um, these got a little freezer burns, so I suggest to wrap them in like plastic wrap or wrap them in something so then it's not like freezer burned. Cause, um, I mean, they're still good. They still taste really good. So that was our experience with these popsicle destroyed, I'm gonna call them the destroyed pancake popsicles because they're flat and they're destroyed. Now this just proves that Pinterest, you make it look too easy. Why? Why do you do this to us? They taste good, but they're ugly. Ugly and failed. Nothing like the pictures I see on Pinterest. Guys, comment below on who's done something on Pinterest and it's totally failed and it's not even close to what the picture looks like. Comment fail on Actually, why don't you comment the thing you tried to make and put fail at the end? Okay, so yeah, that's exactly. And give this video a thumbs up if you think we failed, because we definitely failed. So that's it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell in the corner so you're in the notification squad. Bye.